thank you for tuning into our youtube channel this one is another one we are to consider two major topics money will fall in 2023 election all right this is coming from the desk of uh, eze Kwesili. she said that money will definitely fall in 2023 Another one is government adopt mother of Kanu lawmaker. All right, on to this. Nigeria's former minister of education, Dr. Obiageli Ezekwesili, has warned that money will definitely fall. Nigerian political leaders declaring to run for presidency in 2023. As the question stated this, after the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Asiwaju Bola Tunubu, informed the president of his ambition to contest in 2023 presidential election. All right, on to this, as a question on her Twitter page, why kicking against the Tunubu's bide for presidency, said the era of turn by turn election is all uh, of uh, incompetent leaders in nigeria was over according to her she continued to say that nigeria cannot keep falling as a nation because of poor leadership she or her twist said that i wish and i watched one of those so-called public analysts boast that bola Tunubu has consulted the president in a given that uh, Bola Tunubu will be the next president of Nigeria. All right, on to this. Government adopt murder of Kanu lawmaker. Government suspected to be bandit have adopted the murder of Kanu State House of Assembly Minority Leader Isaku Ali in Zawazu town. The old woman Alahajia Zanab lives with some family members and house staff. Her son, Mr. Ali, is a former speaker of the house. Saminu Ali, a son of the lawmaker, told BBC Hauser as um, monitored by Premium Times and based on what we have gathered, that the government stormed the house at around 1 a.m. on Wednesday. All right, my good people, he said that the government carrying sophisticated weapons forced some of the family members to take them to the lawmaker's mother's side in the house. A Daily Nigerian report quoted the lawmaker saying the government broke the door when she refused to open it for them. Meanwhile, he said it was one of the old women's staff that raised an alarm, after which the police were informed of the attack. My good people, Omahe, APC presidential ticket should be zoned to southeast for fairness. Hmm, this is coming from Omahe. As David Omahe, the governor of Ebony, has said the presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress, APC, should be zoned to the southeast for equity and fairness. Umaya made this known as he said that who on Thursday declared his intention to be the party's standard bearer at the 2023 presidential election spoke in a chat with Arise Television on Wednesday. The governor said, as I quote, given the sentiment being expressed by all the sectors, of the society, APC, he said, should zone its presidential ticket to the southeast to enable the nation move forward. Umahia, who joined the APC in 2020 because of the injustice done to the southeast by the People's Democratic Party (PDP) of presidential zoning, meanwhile added that he hmm, would not feel any sense of injustice if the party does not lean towards his ambition or that of the southeast region all right are your day sways in customary court of appeal president orders 
Cross River State Governor Professor Ben Ayade has sworn in Justice Mores Ineji as the new president of the state customary court of appeal. Also sworn in on Tuesday, we are four we are high court judges and four customary court judges. Unto these new four high court judges are Justice Obe Owe. Anthony, Justice Etitum Felix Igobe, Justice Dede Guniz Oshim, and Justice Akbo Jeremiah Arong, while the customary court judges are Justice Daniel Efrekulu, Justice Rita Otsu Marshall, Justice Adibu Emmanuel Akaya, and Justice Ben Blessing Eku. Speaking during the event held at the state executive council chamber, Ayode declared the poor salary of justice. I beg your pardon, the poor salary of uh, judges in the country and vowed that despite the lean financial resources, Cross River would lead in improving the standard of living of the judges by proving, by reviewing their salaries. All right, my good people, a lot has really been happening across the state. As it stands, just as we have taken so far, as uh, is the question they said, money will fall in 2023 election. He made, she made this clear and is very crucial to the plan. As is the question they stated days after the national leader of all progressive Congress APC, as he will do, Bola Tinubu informed the president of his ambition to context in the 2023 presidential election. As a question, on her Twitter account, made this known why kicking against Tinubu's bide for presidency, saying that the era of turn by turn election of uh, incompetent leaders in Nigeria was over. Well, my good people, I would like to have your take on this. Are you in support to what uh, Mrs. Ezekwesere have said in regards to this turn by turn of uh, leadership in Nigeria? According to her, Nigeria cannot keep falling as a nation because of poor leadership. We are glamouring and clarifying and very, very worried about uh, Nigerian leadership. She twisted this saying that uh, say she watched one of those so-called public analysts boast that uh, Bola Tinubu has uh, consulted the president. It is a given that uh, Bola Tinubu will be the next president of Nigeria. Well, the truth has been that Bola Tinubu has really made name in Lagos as long as the Yorubas and Lagos states is concerned in fact he has so many followers and a lot of people are saying hmm, if not from bola Tunibu, we are marching we are going to vote him in and the people on the other way side are saying bola Tunibu is no way and uh, no slot will definitely be given to him because of his age and some other things that happen to be that uh, he has been in Dugashuda with uh, president muhammad buhari and now He's contesting. He's about to contest. And people are saying, we are not in support. And while other people are saying, we support him. Come 2023, is a game of uh, who win. It's a win-win, 50-50 basis. And now, is a question. He's saying, hmm, come 2023, that uh, money will definitely fall. And um, that has been on to this. And another one is, uh, government adopt mother of Kano, a lawmaker. Okay, gunmen suspected to be bandits have adopted the mother of Kano State House of Assembly majority leader in the person of uh, Isaku Ali in the Gazawa town. Okay, that has been on to this. A lot of insecurity has been taking place in the state of Kano. And without much more of your time, let me have your take on to this. And please do well to tap on the subscription button for more. Up there, thank you for joining. Blessed be our news. Thank you.